yeah, it, that that was a tough phase. I went through a tough phase after being dropped. I think it was 2019 from South Africa, and then that season went badly at the Messi cricket. Got dropped from the Messi cricket as well. So I really had to dig deep. Luckily, I've got good mates that can have good and hard chats with me, and some of those conversations weren't easy and nice to hear. Um, I think for me, the biggest thing is to have a core friend group that can keep you humble and be very direct and honest with you. Um, that helped me. And then try to find the love of the game again. Um, you will go through phases where you, you don't want to wake up and train and stuff like that, that happens. But when, for me, it's, I, I completely wanted to stop cricket and fell out of love of the game. So I really had to find a way to get that love back for the game. Otherwise, that was tough. And, um, one of my good mates, Dean Alga, had a, <laughs> a proper chat with me that was that helped me out of that mindset and um, sometimes you just need a wake up call in life and that was it. Yeah, I don't think it was any physical exercises. Um, I just worked quite hard with Albie Morkel on my swing, um, finding that balance of getting that right he helped me quite a bit. I was. Okay. I love you, Wookie. Well, my girl. Get your room, I. Yeah, so he helped me through getting to that, getting my swing path right. And coming in here, I've also worked with him for a couple of days. And it's amazing that he's obviously played such a big part in the IPL in the early years as well. And had a great IPL career as well and successful career as well. So it's nice to learn from guys like him. He helped me a lot and it's, I've been sticking to that blueprint for the last couple of years. So we did some interesting exercises before we came here. So I would love to spend more time with him because at this moment I feel like he understands my swing and he's obviously done it at an extremely high level. So yeah, I think it's just figuring out who you are as a player and fine tuning your skills. Yeah, I think it's very easy. Um, the environment creates a place where um, you can gel easily. There's enough time to spend time together with the boys and we are a very good group of players. So um, it's very easy to get into the change room and make yourself feel comfortable. So that wasn't too hard to do. And it's nice learning from everyone. Um, everyone's got a unique skill set and we've got a, a highly bunch of talented players here. So for me, going in with the mindset to learn as well from the players because it's their home conditions. They do certain skills extremely well that you, I can add to my skill sets as well. So it's nice and easy. Yeah, you always look at they're very successful players and Dan has been coaching and he has also been a great cricketer. So learning from them as well. They've obviously won big trophies recently. So tapping into their mindset helps a little bit as well. And they're great people, they're funny people, they're very relaxed actually so you think in, people get this this idea that everyone is like intense the whole time but they're actually so chilled and so relaxed so that makes it a lot easier to have conversations with them and learning from them. Yeah I had a couple um, I don't have anyone specific I think with my batting it was Chris Gale at the start hence the 45 at the back um, then I went through a stage where Brendan McCullum was, I just like the, the flair he had with the keeping gloves on. Um, not necessarily his batting. Then I went through a phase where I enjoyed how Michael Clark played spin. Then obviously everyone loved AB. Um, some of his freakishness um, that I like, not necessarily the way he played, just the freakishness that he's got by pulling off certain things. You sometimes think he's crazy. Um, Adam Gilchrist, I watch a lot of footage from him while he was keeping, um, especially when Shane Warne bowled him, standing up to the stumps. So I have a lot, I had bits and pieces where I feel like, okay, in this stage of my career, I need this, I need to look at this type of player. So I've never had one specific guy that I had to look after and he's my idol. I had a couple of just pick and choose from a lot of a lot of guys and try to implement it to my game. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, we go to the next guy that's very similar to that. Yeah, that's, it's nice and humbling to hear that I'm idle to some guys, but 
the thing for me is if things doesn't work out, keep on drafting out, keep on working out. Um, it's not always the easy route. Um, I went through the hard route, which is more rewarding as I'm sitting here. Um, sometimes life will get tough, but that's where you actually learn the most. And I feel like those type of, if you can get through it, your character will just be a little bit stronger. So cricket sense, I think everyone knows what to do to get to the top level. But for me, it's when those dark times come, keep working out, keep building on your character because when you get through it, it's so much more rewarding. Yeah, I think that makes it a lot easier. And I think if you can speak to every overseas player coming to, coming to the IPL, as long as you have a little bit of peace of home with you, um, it makes it to a lot easier. Um, not saying it's difficult, but it just makes you don't miss home so much. So having Aiden has been my best mate for a couple of years, so and we shared a home together for years, so it's nice that we have each other. We can bounce ideas of each other. Um, if we're in a dark space, we can have this chat. We know how each other works. And Plunky is just a funny guy, so nice having different conversations with him. Your mind is full of my What's going on? What's that? A scopy? You have the camera to be a scopy? Hmm? Okay. I think to stay a little, stay more true to yourself. I think there is a stage where I've lost myself as who I am as a cricketer and as a human being. Um, as long as you can stay true to yourself and always keep challenging yourself to get better. I think if I have to look back at three years, I've wasted a couple of years. Um, doing the fun stuff in life rather than the right stuff in life. Um, stay true to your character and who you are and even as a cricketer don't try to be someone else because no one is exactly the same and I can be just as good as someone else in my different skill set.